the USS Colorado is ordered to fire its nuclear weapons at Pakistan. I'm not going to annihilate 4.3 million Pakistanis without hearing directly from someone whose authority I recognize. But when the captain refuses to launch without confirmation, the sub is attacked as a renegade. Have inbound crews miss on our position. All hands, emergency deep! Emergency deep! Place for impact! Fleeing to a remote island, the crew seeks out refuge while trying to clear their names in Last Resort. Hi, I'm Leah. And I'm Teresa. I'm Rachel. We're going to get under the surface of this new ABC fall drama called Last Resort. We've all just seen it. This is a one-hour drama on ABC. The showrunner is Sean Ryan, who also did The Shield. And it stars Andre Brower and Scott Speedman. I hate to say this and be so negative, uh -oh. but oh. this show was so <laughs> dull and took itself so seriously that if I didn't have to watch it for this review, I would have turned off the television in 10 minutes. I have to say that there were problems as far as I'm concerned with the dialogue. It was largely expository, and so consequently, there was no real interest for me. I didn't feel like the characters were particularly compelling. I've been seeing shows where the characters are generic and the plotline is flat and people are busy just for the sake of being busy. I think the first several minutes of it were very much that, and I don't know why, but there are other shows. It was a rough ride there, in there, the beginning. Yes, and there are other shows. And it was, I didn't get to know the characters. Sure. And whenever they spoke, everything they said went over my head. I have an authenticated fire order through the Antarctic Secondary Network, requesting confirmation of the order through the standard EAM network. Captain, you have an authenticated fire order. I'm aware of that. Now send it through the proper channel. This season, a lot of shows are starting out with this chaotic thing where it's like, oh, it's a hook. Mm. There's so much going on. You have no idea what's happening. Aren't you, you know, enthused about the show? And this does do that. And I do feel like after the first five minutes or so, this show does settle down a little bit. And they do start trying to put some humor into the script, which I feel like for something like this is one of the only ways to make these characters human. The key word here is they tried. They tried. I never laughed. It was just too serious. And it was like they're trying to be smart, but they weren't really being smart. It was just like they're just trying to do all of these things. And it, what, the execution was not successful. It was just such a dull program. I do agree that it was trying to do too much in the beginning, and I do agree also that there is a trend where a lot of television shows have kind of adopted a film aesthetic. You know, we're going to just drop you right into the action in yeah. the beginning, we're going to do cold openings, and we'll just kind of create this mystery and tension. Which doesn't work because you do. You have, you have the premise, you have the character, you have too many things to try and wrap your head around, so I don't know why that's the new in thing to but do. There were so many characters, I didn't care about any of them, that when they were being silly, I didn't care. I think that's the main thing is like, they, this show never drew me well, to where I care. Well, I, I feel like there's only three characters you would care about at this right. point. There's mm -hmm. there's the captain. Played by Andre Brower. Yes. We have the XO, who is played by Scott Speedman. Mm -hmm. And the third character. Which is played by Daisy Betts, is right. Lieutenant Grace. And I feel like those three do have humanity. Well, I mean, I think that all of these characters are rooted to some degree in an element of reality. But this show presents itself as a thriller. And so by dropping us immediately into the action and having that choppy opening, it does itself a disservice by being on television. Because television, the way you capture people in television is by introducing us to the characters. Correct. Because mm -hmm. you're inviting these people to come into your home. And if you don't hook me with the characters well enough, then the action almost becomes superfluous. But so many of these shows, mm -hmm. the characters grow into the roles, and the show decides a little bit more what it is after the, after the first couple of episodes. You know, their personalities could but come out. I saw the first five minutes. I don't want to see the rest of the show. I don't want to give it time and waste hours of my life trying to see if they figure out <laughs> how to Look, do it what right. They're doing. You know, one of my pet peeves is when you have action and thrillers is that you put female characters in there and you try and make them act like men. This is a meeting to allow you to inform me if any member of the crew has acted towards you in a manner offensive to yourself or to the other female members of your rack or in a manner contrary to the rules and regulations of Navy but policy. But how, how are you supposed to do sensitivity duty? You want to talk about racks. Just answer the question, Cortez. But Daisy Betts, I feel like she's not totally mopey. She's got like a little bit of a vengeful spirit going on. She gets these guys punished. She gets them into trouble. She gives them a longer sentence Milk toast. than she could. Well, she can't kill them now, can no, she? But, but she's got she's got moments later on where she does become a more powerful presence on the show. I feel like we can already kind of predict or try and anticipate where the rest of the season is going to go. That is the thing, because I read something online that does make it sound like this is going to be the new loss. They're going to get stuck on the island. 
No matter what direction this show goes, I don't want to watch it. Oh, no, it's gonna <laughs> dive, dive, dive. The pilot didn't interest me, and I wouldn't tune in again. Skip it. I would not watch Last Resort unless it was the only Last Resort. I say skip it. I liked the pilot episode, but I am afraid that it may run aground and turn into a militarized version of Lost. But for now, to be fair, I'm going to give it a very cautious see it. Our votes add up to one ticket, which is a stream it for <laughs> Last Resort. Cheers. <laughs> Even our drinking's cautious. No matter what direction this show goes, I don't want to watch it. <laughs>